ሰላም ክብራ ተኻታተልቲ ናይ ትግራይ ኦንላይን ከሚከን ኒኹም ደሓን ደኒኹም አምናይ ሎማ አንት መደብና አብ አሜሪካ ዝርከብ ናይ ሰላም ኢንስቲትዩት ና ተባሃለ ዝፍለጥ ትካል ብዛዕባ አብ ኢትዮጵያ ዘሎ ህሉ ኩነታት አልዒሉ ናይ ፓነል ሚይት ከም ዝገበረን አፍቲ ናይ ፓነል ሚይት ዝተረኸቡ አቤቲ አጋይሽ ብፍላይ ከዓ ናይ አሜሪካ አምባሳደራ ተብ ኢትዮጵያ ኾይኖም ዘገልገሉ አርባዓተ አባይቲ አጋይሽ ብመቅራብ ብዛዕባ ህሉ ኩነታት ናይ ኢትዮጵያ ሚይት አካይዱ አፍቲ ዝተገበረ ሚይት አርባዓቲኦም ነባራት ናይ አሜሪካ አምባሳደራት ምስቲ መለስ ዜናዊ አብ ስልጣን እናሃለወ ሕዚ ከዓ በአብይ አህመድ ጊዜ ኢትዮጵያ ናበይ ተኸድላ ኢትዮጵያ ከመሃገር በዚ ጉጅለ ናይ አብይ አህመድ ና ተመርሐት ናበይ ተመርሐ ከም ዘላ ሚይ ተቀይዶ እቲ ነታ አኼባ ዘኸፈቶ አምባሳደር ጆኒ ካርሰን ዝባል አብይ ናይ አሜሪካ ነባር ዲፕሎማት እንትኸውን አብቲ መወዳታ መኽፈት ናይ ተአኼባ አብ ዝጎሮ ዝርርብ ኢትዮጵያ በዚ ሕዚ ሕዛቶ ዘላ ኹነታት እንድሕር ቀጽላ ከምቲ ናይ ቀደም ዩጎዝላቪያ ትባል ሀገር በሃይማኖትን በዓሊትን ብትንትን ዝበለት ኢትዮጵያ ውን ከምኡ ዘለ ዒጫ ኸበጻሓ እዩ ናም በብተታን ክትከይድ ይያ ዝብል ዓለም ለኸ ገምጋም ከም ዘሎ ሓቢሩ እዚ ገምጋም እዙይ ብዙሓት ኢትዮጵያውያን ምውን ዝበጽሕዎ መደምደምታ እንትኸውን ካመሬት ተልዓሉ ዝዝረብን ዝባሃል ነገር ዘይኮነስ ካብቲ ጭቡጥ ወድዓው ኹነታት ናይ ኢትዮጵያ ብመርአይን መንግስቲ አብይ አህመድ ደታዓድ ናበይ መርሓ ከም ዘሎ ብምስቱ ዓለም ዝተገብረ መደምደምታ ወይ ዝተበጽሕ መደምደምታ እዩ President Abiy's blitzkrieg of reforms have been widely noted by those in the human rights and the democracy communities. They've been widely praised by those in the international community as well. But concerns are now growing that the euphoria around Prime Minister Abiy's changes are both masking and unearthing deeper problems inside of Ethiopia. A growing number of observers are starting to ask whether Prime Minister Abiy is simply moving too fast and whether the reforms he has initiated are generating instability and security and hostility in Ethiopia's ethnically based federal system of governance. One of the most worrying of concerns is the resentment and resistance that is building up against him and his government in Tigray province, the home of Ethiopia's once all powerful security chief, Kachacha Asfa. Although three arrest warrants have been issued for Gachacha, he remains free and at large in Tigray where he is being shielded and protected by the regional federal authority. Ethnic tensions are also bubbling up in other parts of the country. Concern about the pace of change and reform has led two journalists to recently raise the specter that the political situation in Ethiopia could slowly deteriorate and that the country could experience the same type of ethnic, regional and religious fragmentation that tore Yugoslavia apart two and a half decades ago ዞም አቤቲ ናይ አሜሪካ ናይ ዲፕሎማሲ ሰበ ስልጣናት ብዙሓት ኢትዮጵያ ዝምልከቱ አርእስተታት አልዒሎም ዝተማያጡን ዝተዛረቡን ተሆኑ ብፍላይ ከዓ እቴብ ኢትዮጵያ ዘሎ ዘሎ ፌደራል ስርዓት የዋጽዶ ምስዱዩ ኢትዮጵያ ኸዋጻ ዝግል ከመሃገር መጠን 
ሓንቲ ሃገር ኮይና ንኽትክጽል ከይትፈራረስ ከይትባታተን እዚ ሕዚ ዘሎ ፌደራል ስርዓት መማረጸሎ ዶ ወይስ ንሱ ጥራሕ ይዘዋጸ ኣዝብል ሕቶ ኣል ዒለም ምን ተባይ ይጦም ይ ኣፍትኒ ይጥ ኣርባዓት ዮም ዓበይቲና ኣሜሪካ ናይ ዲፕሎማሲ ሰበ ስልጣናት ብዘይ ምንም ክትዕን ብዘይ ምንም መፋላላይን ዝተሰማምዑልነት እንተሃልዩ እቲ ሕዚ ዘሎ ቋንቋ መሰረት ዝገበረ ናይ ኢትዮጵያ ፌደራል ስርዓት መማረጽ ይኸም ዘይብሉ እዮም ተኣማሚኖም ደምዲሞሞ ብፍላይ ኣምባሳደር ዶናልድ ቡዝ ዝገበሮ ትንተና ብጣዕሚ ዝድነቕን ብጣዕሚ ዝናኣድን እንትኸውን እቲ ኣብ ኢትዮጵያ ዘሎ ኣብ ቋንቋ መሰረት ዝገበረ ፌደራል ስርዓት መማረጽ ይኸም ዘይብሉ እታ ሃገር ከም ሃገር መጠን ሓንቲ ሃገር ኮይና ኽትቅጽል እንተዳ ኾይና ኣብ ቋንቋ መሰረት ዝገበረ ፌደራል ስርዓት ንኢትዮጵያ ትመማረጽ ዘይብሉ ስርዓት ከም ዝኾነ ይገልጹ እዛ ሃገር እዚኣ ኸም ሃገር እንተቐጸለት ብጣዕሚ ጽቡቕ እንድሕር ናምብትታ ንእንድሕር ከይዳ ንሕና ከም ተጋሩ መጠን ትግራይ ከም ዓድ መጠን እንታይ ክትከውን ያን እንታይ ክመጸና ይኽእል እንታይ ክንገብር ንኽእል ጸገማቱ ምዕብል ጎኑ ድኹም ጎኑ ገምጊምና ንዝኾነ ይኹን ነገር ክንዳሎን ንዝኾነታ ተባኣ ኣይሱ ናብ ትብርክ ንሱ ቅድም ምውጽሑ እንታይ ክንገብሮ ንኽእል ቅድም ሁነት ሉ እንታይ ክንገብር ንኽእል ዝብል ሕቶ ሓቲትና መልሲ ብመሃብ ዘድሊ ምድላዋት ብመንግስቲ ደረጃ ብህዝቢ ደረጃ ብኻልኦት ሲቪላዊ ዝኾና ትካላት ደረጃ ዘድሊ ኹሉ ቅድም ሁነት ክንገብረልና in any country where there is uh, multiple ethnic groups there's the potential for uh, ethnic clashes but what is perhaps different in Ethiopia is that you also have an explicitly ethnically federal state i mean that's how it's set up in the constitution so the big question and i'm glad you mentioned uh, what you just did uh, ambassador shin and ambassador bus thank you for bringing up the rural nature of this because i think that also feeds into this but the big question here is in some respect do you think ethnic federalism is sustainable is this still a model that can work and how does that look then in terms of all of the other uh, prescriptions or actions that may be necessary to pursue i mean it's a big question but it's an important one for the country i think that's the fundamental question that ethiopians need to address because if they don't address the structure of their country they can't have a successful election they can't move the economy forward security will continue to deteriorate you already have 3% of the population who are internally displaced because of ethnic tensions uh, displacements um i personally think that a federal structure in a nation that has i very different uh, identities for its different components makes the most sense now most opposition parties in ethiopia at least while i was there their main complaint was this was a divide and rule tactic by the minority to grants uh if you keep everybody separate then you know you can rule well what's the alternative i mean if you look at the history of ethiopia it's a series of strong rulers at the center usually from the amhara region uh but the highlands who managed to cobble together a kingdom or an empire and then maybe when the ruler is a bit weakened or there's a weak successor you have rebellion from the periphery or attacks from the outside and it all collapses and then you need to wait for another strong leader to put ethiopia back together again this is a fundamental issue that i think melos was grappling with uh i was told that there were many many late night all night sessions he had with um huntington of uh, clash of civilizations fame uh discussing how do you structure a government in this country mm -hmm. and what came out of it was ethnic federalism now how do ethiopians tell me what well, we should just have a normal federal structure like the united states does and i say well how do you draw state boundaries i mean those have already been drawn by long history of of ethnic groups so you know ethnic federalism is probably the least worst uh option in my mind for long term stability in ethiopia just like I had one little historic point to that i i think that when i think what you said is actually is, is absolutely on the money when when melis was first in addis ababa had the transitional conference going on the national conference going on he clearly feared a descent into civil war he clearly feared that somehow um 
I don't know, the Aromos wouldn't be happy or the Amharas wouldn't be happy or something would happen. And, and he knew that the last thing Ethiopia needed after the long war that they just got over with was another war. And so I think he did kind of fall on this, maybe just out of expediency, maybe the, you know, it was the least bad choice. And I, I think it made a lot of sense at the time. I'm not convinced it makes sense 30 years later, but here we are. I might. I might, I might just add, I, I had a, a meeting with Mellis after I had been ambassador. It was probably in 2006, maybe 2007, and I asked him specifically if he was convinced that ethnic federalism was the right policy for Ethiopia. And his response was kind of interesting, almost typical Mellis. I uh, said, look, uh, Mr. Ambassador, we, uh, we've, we tried uh, authoritarianism, we tried imperial rule, uh, we tried communism under the derg. We tried uh, military rule, and none of them worked. So we've got to try this one now. And his final remark was, and I'm convinced it will work. Uh, I, at the time, was not totally convinced that this was the right approach. I'm even a little bit less convinced today. But his, uh, his response was an interesting one, that um, we're going to try something different. Well, I, I would speak up, too. I think, to me, it was a very practical decision they had to make at the beginning of the process because they did have armed groups around the country, and you're trying to, to knit uh, people together. <clears throat> I traveled to all of the, the uh, nine regions when I was there to find out what was going on, and I found at that time that the local officials were feeling much more empowered they could uh, speak their own languages in that region. They were getting some budget money uh, from the federal government, and they could decide how to allocate it. So there was this sense of we are not going to have the central government mm -hmm. telling us what to do anymore. We've got uh, some modicum of, of control now in our region. And I applauded that. The second thing I'd say is, uh, when I got to Ethiopia, one of the first questions I asked of many, but I consistently asked it of Ethiopians and anybody I met, was how do you put pressure on an Ethiopian? That was my question. I got various answers, but I decided that um, ultimately, uh, putting all the answers together, that Ethiopians really like to operate off of principle. Mm -hmm that uh, while there are some people in Ethiopia who would like transactional diplomacy, it's really principle. And so I think if, if they continue to have discussions internally about principles, the principles of a free press, or the principle of eth ethnic federalism, of what does that mean in terms of uh, the principle of being uh, voluntarily a part of something bigger, that principle. So if you can couch things as principles, I think that might open up a, a discussion in an interesting way, um, and that would uh, move things forward too. Of the video, the American Islam Institute, the Aurora Clitus at Zunu Hatu video, Kurut Kurut Bilna Clitet and Abbeti, the empty Agadisti and the Nayan, Netutat in Arimal Kundalana, Baal Tumuna Tumulu video, Hedkum Mukatal, Kutsam Uwo. حبر ورا تخطات التنا نايلو معنت مدبنا ابي اخم زازمينا بخالي مدبك سعن راقب دحن كرني كندسمعكم نا يغنينا